If you're in the market for a new pickup truck, then you gotta check out the 2021 Nissan Titan SV. We're gonna go through the ins and outs to determine if this premium package is the Titan with the most value. Let's jump into it. So the Nissan Titan comes in a few different trim levels and I do feel that this SV with the premium package certainly comes with the most value. It has an MSRP of 63,698. You're gonna get quite a few necessities, some must haves that I would want in a truck and then you get a few creature comforts and a little bells and whistles with this premium package. We're gonna go through it but you guys can let me know in the comments if you feel another trim level has more value. Let's check out the side profile. It's a crew cab, so you get the tinted windows on the back, you get these nice chrome handles, and you have the Nissan Intelligent key, so you have the keyless entry and the remoteless entry as well. The mirrors, the mirrors extend manually. If you did uh, have a, a large trailer that you're towing, you can extend the mirrors out. It's gonna come with these 18 inch silver and black aluminum alloy rims. And then you have your front and rear vented disc brakes. They refreshed this front end a little bit here for 2021. Uh, you can see the Titan badging is stamped right on the front hood. I do like these little hood lines as well, helping everything flow through the front. Very large Nissan emblem. And then we have our black tow hooks that are embossed in this chrome bumper here. We have our parking sensors as well. You do get the Nissan LED daytime running lights, but you gotta go up to the higher trim packages if you want LED headlights. And then you do have the fog lights as well for that added visibility. Let's pop this one up and check out the power plan. You do have the hydraulic hood prop there. And then this one comes with the 5.6 liter DOHC 32 valve gasoline VA engine. It does have the class leading horsepower. So 400 horsepower and 413 pounds feet of torque attached to a nine speed automatic transmission. It's a real pleasure to drive. I can't wait to show you guys. In terms of fuel economy, you're gonna average 11.1 .1 liters per every 100 kilometers or 25 miles per gallon on the highway and 15.1 liters per every 100 kilometers or 19 miles per gallon in the city. When we look at the back here, there's a lot of stuff to go over. It is being the crew cab, so you're gonna get the five foot box. It's gonna come with the Titan and the 4x4 SV badging as well. We do have our backup camera, which is attached to the tailgate here and rear parking sensors. That's gonna help with that Nissan safety shield. Tow hitch comes already equipped with your wiring harness. This one's gonna tow about 9,270 pounds, and then it's gonna have a payload of 1,580 pounds. A few of my favorite features, you also get this kind of kick step rail here so you can get in, and you can also kick it away there. And then you get the dampened tailgate, so you can see it goes down nice. Big Titan badging as well on the tailgate. So with this premium package, you do get the spray-on bed liner. The tailgate is the plastic, and then you have the spray-on liner here. It also comes with the Nissan utility track. So there's these tracks here, and you get four of these tie-down clamps that you can tie down onto the utility track. So you can pretty much have anchors wherever you like for all your supplies to tie down whatever you're hauling there. You also have four fixed anchors, and then you have the power outlet as well. So good if you need to charge your tools and things like that when you're on the job. It does come with box lighting as well, which is in the back here, just to illuminate your bed a little bit at nighttime. You do get the remote start right on the Nissan Intelligent key. You just need to push the lock button twice. Every Nissan's the same, and you click and hold this, and it's gonna start up. The difference between this one is it comes with that nice V8 sounding engine. Let's jump inside. So after you use the remote starter, you can really just put the key anywhere in your pocket, in the cup holder, wherever. You still need to push the start button to recognize the key. I'm sitting in this eight-way power adjustable driver's seat. The seats are phenomenal here, super comfortable, um, super large bucket seats. This one being the SV, you do get the two captain front seats with this center console as opposed to a front bench. You have the Nissan large steering wheel. Um, intelligent cruise control is on the wheel. You have the column shifter here as well with the tow haul mode behind the wheel. And that just frees up a lot of space in the center stack. 
And when I'm talking about space in the center stack, and I say a lot of space, there is a ton of space. Like this thing is massive. It's super deep. Look, I can put my whole Nissan water bottle standing upright in this and I can still close it here and I can put the tray on there. Everything's pretty removable, which is neat about this. You can remove the cup holders if you just want a deep bin in the center stack. There's a little bit of map storage as well at the side. And then you have this phone holder here. So you're not sure where to put your phone. They've actually created a vertical phone holder. Hopefully you can see it there. And you can even take this out if you don't want it and your phone will stay tucked in there. You can put a couple phones, tablet in there, even those mega phones. So it's great um, versatility. You can kind of use these for different options and whatever job you're doing, if you're using it for work or pleasure, you have different options as opposed to your storage setup. Above the center stack is our infotainment system and they've really done a great job with this screen here, guys. It's a nine inch uh, infotainment system. You get the Nissan Connect systems, you get the Android Auto, the Apple CarPlay, you have the Nissan navigation, so you can just click map here. Uh, very vivid screen, you can do like a pinch to zoom. I've done a full walk around of how to use this screen and how to set up your phone, how to connect to Android Auto right on the screen. Um, I do still like the traditional dials for our volume and our tuning. And you have things like Sirius XM, you can um, connect your phone to stream music through Bluetooth, answer calls, make calls, all done through the screen here. Digital temperature control is down below. This is pretty much uh, the mainstay in every Nissan. Like you, basically every Nissan has the same digital temperature control here. And then below that is um, like we could turn on and off our blind spot monitoring and our safety shield, our parking sensors. Uh, we have our four x four dial. And then we have our brake controller, USB-C and regular USB below that, heated seat controls, and then all that center storage that I mentioned. This one being the crew cab, you do get a lot of space back here. I really like that. There's a ton of space for my legs, for my headroom. You have the power rear window as well. You do have this fold down for the cup holders. We have two cup holders here, a plug, two USB units. So pretty much everything you need for your passengers. If you're using this truck mainly for work, you also have a lot of versatility and options back here. You can fold the seat up nice like this. Both seats fold up. And then you have these storage units here. Um, basically what this will do is this will basically turn it into a flat uh, area if you're working or you need a flat surface to put like a dresser or something, you can do that as well. These bins also lock so you can fold this back up and you can see there's quite a bit of room if you have those valuable tools, camera equipment, things like that that you want to lock and hide, you can hide those under there and there's another one here that you can lock some things in. The backup camera comes on on that nine inch screen automatically when you put it in reverse. You can see it's nice and easy as I'm backing up here. You get the trailer sway control as well and then you have this trailer hitch assist. So you just line that up with your where you're gonna hitch to and you're good to go. Now it's time for the fun part guys. We finally get this thing on the road. Uh, in terms of visibility, visibility is just like any other truck. I do like the convex mirrors on the mirrors, that's gonna help with the visibility in the blind spots. Um, but what you're really looking for when you drive this is that takeoff here. And we're gonna jump on the highway and do a bit of acceleration. And let's see how she goes. This one has that nine speed automatic uh, 5.6 V8 like we mentioned. And there she goes. Not as much push as the Armada, but this does take off here. Um, the nine speed transmission goes through, like it's very smooth going through. Um, and that's why this one's a leader in its class. If you're looking at things like an F-150 or maybe a Bighorn, you should be considering the Titan as well. It's kind of a sleeper in that class. You can hear it when it goes. Yeah, I really like how it picks up and how it flows through. Now it's dropping through the gears and you don't really feel a huge, it's very, very smooth. You also get all the Nissan safety shields. So you get the intelligent cruise control, you'll get the lane departure warning, the blind spot monitor, intelligent driver alertness. There's a ton of features that I could go through. 
full safety system like the intelligent forward collision warning. You'll get the forward emergency braking with the pedestrian detection. Our traffic sign or recognition is shown, so it shows us what our speed limit is right uh, in our gauge cluster here. There's quite a few features, rear door alert, uh, rear intelligent emergency braking. I mentioned the trailer sway control and the seats. Like I can't say too many, the seats are so comfortable. Like you gotta try these seats, um, very comfortable especially for long trips. So I said this one has the most value in its pack because um, you're not paying a huge, like up to 70, $80,000 uh, out of pocket, but you do get quite a few necessities. I like a center console in my truck um, and I do like all the stuff in the bed that I mentioned. So definitely this SV has the most value. Comment below if you disagree. Uh, and let me know which one you feel has more value than the SV. So thanks so much for watching another video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to Cars Unlocked. And if you have any questions about the Nissan Titan or any of the other vehicles on my channel, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section below. If you're interested in purchasing this vehicle, do not hesitate to contact me at my dealership information below. As always, follow me on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next Unlock.